Hey everyone, it's Dan with DPS Breakdowns. Today I want to analyze one of my favorite matches from the 2019 UWW World Championships, which was the match between Takuto Adagaro and Haji Aliyev. Going into the tournament, Adagaro was the defending world champion at 65 kilos, and Aliyev is also a former world champion, winning it on three separate occasions. Both of these guys are very quick and technical, and both tend to thrive in chaotic scrambling situations, which led to some really interesting and fun sequences. Let's get to it. So this first sequence is gonna occur about a minute in. Let's see the whole thing. So you can see Adagaro punches that underhook on his right. He's gonna get in this front headlock position. And he's gonna switch here to this double underhooks position for the throw by. So nice little sequence. So first thing is the underhook. So this is something that I've, I've seen Yazdani do a lot, Hassan Yazdani in some of the videos I've done. Uh, basically getting an underhook off of the opponent's collar tie. So right now Aliyev has that left hand collar tie. You can see his left hand on Adeguro's head. And Adeguro is going to use, he's gonna kind of use that grip to allow himself to get an underhook. So he's gonna bring his hips in. He's gonna bring his head and chest up and he's gonna swing his right elbow to the inside here. His hand is also going to transfer to the lat. So the right hand goes to the lat, the elbow stays inside here. And so now he's got that underhook. And now right here, it's kind of subtle, but it looks like Aliyev takes at least an attempt at a shot here towards his right. And he's not, he's not able to quite get in there. And now the girl's immediately gonna grab this front headlock grip. So he's initially gonna start off on the tricep here, you can see. And you can see uh, Aliyev's head is stuck underneath. And he's not able to get his posture back at this point. At this point, this is something I've seen Adeguro do. He likes to go kind of this elbow deep on both sides position here. So he gets this nice deep grip with both arms underneath the armpits. Keeps his head in a good position. And he's gonna use this to really kind of drive forward. So he's on his feet now, really driving forward. And what that's gonna do is it's going to, in this case, force Aliyev to, to put his hands to the mat. Right here, you can see the hands on the, on the ground there. And this is gonna give Adeguro the, the uh, opportunity to get double underhooks. So he sees both hands on the ground. He's gonna swim, he's gonna leave his front headlock grips bring the hands to the inside. He gets double unders and he immediately builds up to his feet here. So he's getting height right away. And what he wants to do in this case, he's gonna elevate, especially that, he's gonna elevate that left underhook here. And he's gonna look to sneak his head out underneath the elbow. And as long as he can free his head, get it in that space, he's gonna come out the backside, get his two here just a few times on that motion. Elevates, ducks ahead underneath, comes out the backside. One more time on that. Here. So just one thing you do need to look out for from this move. Uh, there is an opportunity for head and arm for the defending wrestler here. As you, as you perform that throw by, you can see Aliyev kind of grabs at the head there. And if he's also able to get the far tricep grip and kind of generate that upper body twist, he can actually hit the head and arm throw and uh, break down, break Adeguro down to his hip here. But one thing I do notice Adeguro does is he's gonna plant, it's kind of hard to see, but the right hand of Adeguro is gonna be on the mat here. Uh, so he's making sure he keeps a good base. He's not allowing that arm to get twisted inside. And he's gonna finish. So just one more time. Punches that underhook here. As Aliyev shoots in, is gonna take that front headlock grip. He first starts on the triceps right by the armpits. And he's gonna eventually switch to this kind of elbow deep grip on both sides. Keeping his head in good position, he's gonna start driving in. Forces the hands to the mat, something he likes to do. And then he switches, double underhooks, gets his height, throws it by. So this is a fun one. Let's see this one all the way through. Okay, this one 
This one, like a lot of them, you really have to slow down to see the details. So the first thing I want to point out is kind of just the value of controlling somebody's shooting hand. So if somebody wants to shoot in one direction, they want to use that hand as their attacking hand, at least the initial attacking hand. If you control the hand, it's very difficult for them to shoot. So right here, Aliyev is going to shoot towards his left, and he's going to reach with his left hand, but our girl has that grip here, so he's not going to be able to get in there. And then the exact opposite is going to happen. Our girl is going to look to counter towards his left, but Aliyev has his left hand. So it's also going to be denied. So they both are able to control the, the other one's shooting hand. And then Aliad's going to shoot again here. So watch how Adeguro anticipates this. He's going to bring his left ankle towards his butt. And Aliad's just going to whiff on this. He's going to be aiming right for the back, of the, just, just below the knee. And it's just not going to be there. So really cool reflexes there, avoids the shot. Now Otter Girl's in that front headlock position again. And something he'll do a lot, instead of just trying to spin around to the back, a lot of times he'll go for a single leg. So here you can see he's gonna reach for Aliyev's right leg. But Aliyev does a really good job here of getting his posture back. So right now he's bent over. As Otter Girl reaches for the leg, Aliyev's gonna get his head up and he's gonna be able to get out of that front headlock grip right here. So this is gonna kinda of turn the tables. It's gonna put Aliyev in a more dominant position here. Now he's got that left arm underhook. And we're in this kind of weird position where Aliyev has good control of the upper body, but his, his left leg is kind of in a strange position here in front. And he's gonna lock up. Aliyev's gonna lock up his hands right in Adeguro's left armpit here. And he's gonna be looking for a trip. He wants to kick out Adeguro's right leg and then bring him down to the mat, break him down to his hip. But he misses. Watch how Adeguro moves that foot at the exact time. So yet again, just amazing reflexes. Anticipates, moves the leg. And because Aliyev commits to this, he's actually gonna fall down himself here. And so it's gonna be two for Adeguro. If he was able to take that foot out, it would be much more likely Adeguro would fall to his hip, but as Adeguro is able to dodge it, he falls to his right knee instead where he has a much better base. And so he's gonna be able to keep his hips down. Aliyev's kind of able to scramble back up. He's gonna to get to that left elbow here and he's gonna retract his bottom leg, so it's gonna be his left leg in this case. Right here, gets to both knees. So really essential skill in this kind of position. You gotta be able to get your hips pointed down to the mat. So he uses the hand and his right foot to get to both knees here. Once more. So the first part, both are gonna deny the shot. Aliyev shoots again. Great reflexes by Adeguro. Out of girl counter shots here. Aliyev's gonna try to sweep the leg out. He misses, falls straight to his side, is able to get back to the knees. On to the next one. Nice counter shot by out of girl here. Aliyev's gonna hit heist out. Out of girl on the leg again, and then we've got an elevator from Aliyev. A lot going on in this one. So, first thing, Adegro is going to defend this well. So, Adegro has that right arm underhook, but Aliyev actually wants to use, um, kind of use that underhook against Adegro by getting that nice tricep grip here. And it appears he's going to use that tricep grip, pull it over his head. You can see how Aliyev's trying to pull it here with his left arm. It looks like he's going for either like a high crotch or maybe it's fireman's carry here but he's not quite able to get the penetration he wants. And it's because Adegro does a really good job with his hands defending. So you can see, watch Adegro's left hand here. He's gonna keep it pushed against the shoulder. And he's also gonna take his underhook out here. So it clearly can't be used against him as he takes the underhook out here. And so as the shot kind of fails, 
lot of girls in a great position to get a shot of his own, so he's gonna counter. You can see Aliyev's right knee is on the mat here. Subtle here, but you can see Ada Girl gets a little bit of a drag with his right arm here. And now he's gonna get on the leg. And he's immediately gonna look to control the upper body. So he's going to bring his left arm around the hip here. And Aliyev, he does this move all the time. So it, it works really well before the offensive wrestler can really establish good grip. So you have to do it kind of early before they, they're able to get strong grips of controlling you. And what he does is it's this really powerful hip heist move. He's gonna bring his head and upper body are gonna drive in backwards. So they drive in into the opponent while he brings his hips away. So you can see the motion right there. Really wide base with his feet as he does this. So hips drive away. And as the hips are moving away, he's gonna look to turn in. So he threads his left leg through and he kind of leaves his feet here. And he's gonna land on the knees. But now he's facing and his hips are away. It's a really useful movement to kind of get out of the jam here. Ali is gonna attempt, attempt his own shot. Adagirl has a nice sprawl here. And once again, Adagirl's moving around for the leg. So another counter here. This time he keeps his head to the outside, which is gonna give Aliyev this opportunity to really wrap his hands around the waist and use the momentum of him falling to his butt here to elevate Adagirl overhead. So Aliyev's got his hands locked and he's gonna use that right leg as an elevator right here. He's driving off of his left foot. He's rocking backwards and he's gonna use that to bring out a girl overhead here. And this is gonna give him two points in a freestyle wrestling setting for exposing the back. Out a girl is gonna cartwheel through. Now at this point, it's a battle for base. So generally speaking, you're gonna want your hips pointed down to the mat in this case. Both guys, neither guy has that here. Out of girl's hips are pointed to the ceiling. Aliyev's are more pointed to the side. So it's gonna be a matter of who can get their hips down first. So let's take a look. Now one thing to notice is out of girl still has control of Aliyev's right leg. That right leg for Aliyev is really crucial because he's gonna need to, if he wants to get to his knees, get his hips pointed down, he's gonna need to bring that right leg through, thread it through. And it's gonna be difficult due to that grip that Adagiro is keeping. So Adagiro is keeping that grip for a reason at this point. And you can see both guys basically get their hips down at the same exact time. So they both are trying, it's like a race to get there and it's a draw. So neither guy ends up with an advantage here. Both get to the knees. Aliyev ends up you know, winning that sequence due to that two points from the elevator but neither guy gets a takedown here. So one more time. Good initial defense by Adeguro. Takes that arm out. Does a good job defending with his hands. Gets a little drag here. And he's on the leg. He's gonna bail on the single leg, go for that waist grip. And there's the hip heist. Really powerful and explosive. Turns in, goes for a shot of his own, does Aliyev. Adeguro counters himself. Locked hands, elevator. Out of girl is gonna cartwheel on his head here. And then it's just a matter of who's gonna get their hips down first. Both guys get it at around the same time. And that's that. So it's now 4 2 out of girl, about a minute and 40 left. Another underhook for out of girl here. and a really nice throw by the single leg, and he's just gonna run through for the finish. So first thing here it, is this snap down. So it doesn't end up leading to anything, but Ada Girl is just so good at this, at this uh, movement here. So watch how he uses both of his feet. He's got a left arm collar tie, and he really uses his entire body to get this power. And you see how it forces both hands to the mat. 
So oftentimes Adeguro will actually go kind of pounce on a shot when this happens. His opponent is no longer able to really defend well with his hands when they're forced to post to the mat. Um, doesn't happen in this case, but just thought it was worth showing. So Adeguro is going to get that underhook. And so it's, it's important to kind of understand when a throw by is going to be effective. It's not going to generally be an effective movement when the opponent is biting down hard with a whizzer or an overhook. So here you can see Aliyev has his left arm wrapped around um, for an overhook here. And he's keeping his arm relatively tight. And he's keeping it right at Adegro's elbow too. So this is going to reduce Adegro's ability to really jack up that overhook, that underhook of his and get a throw by. But watch what happens right here. So Aliyev voluntarily, I don't know if he's trying to maybe slip out of the underhook, but he raises his arm here and he gives up his overhook. And this is going to give Adeguro just this really small window to hit this throw by. So Adeguro is going to elevate with his underhook. He's going to drive forward here and you can see how his left hand's already reaching for the single leg right here and now he's got it once he gets it nothing fancy here he just runs through for the finish i want you to watch that in slow motion watch how many times aliyev has to hop on one leg and think about it it's like a foot race if you have two feet and you can run forward and the other person is going kind of backwards on one foot you can kind of guess how that'll end. And watch how watch watch Aliyev's leg that's posted here. His right leg. Look at that. How many times it has to bounce in live speed. So eventually he just loses his balance. Let's see that slow that uh, throw by movement one more time. So with the bite down with that tight wizard, it's gonna be difficult. As soon as Otter Girl feels that arm go up, it's time to go. So it's a small window, but you have to you have to strike right when it's available here. So here we are, less than a minute left in the match. Out of girl is actually up eight two at this point. So Aliyev has to start looking for something big to close the, the gap here. And he's gonna go for a throw. And he actually scores four points off of this which is a little counterintuitive since he ends up on bottom, but um, nonetheless, it's gonna score four. How does he set this up? It's a little snap down here. And as Adeguro goes to flee, the underhook becomes available. Aliyev's gonna grab it. So this is an unorthodox way to hit a head and arm. I, I don't think I've ever seen this done. It's, I, I think it's pretty cool though. So usually you'll see a head and arm. It's going to be that, that headlock grip with one arm and then an overhook is, is traditionally used with the other arm and you're trying to generate that upper body rotation. But here, Adeguro is going to use his underhooking arm, his left arm in this case, as sort of like what an overhook usually does. So he's going to use that to trap the arm. So he brings his right arm overhead, like or to grab the head rather, and his left arm, he's gonna lock his hands here. His left arm is trapping out of girl's right arm and it's gonna allow him to generate the upper body rotation here. So watch again, the right arm comes over, keeps the underhook with the left and he's gonna lock his hands. He's gonna hip in, brings out a girl down to the knees and now it's just a matter of running through and keeping that upper body rotation, you continue to rotate the upper body, eventually the hips will follow here. So you can see the twist. But one of the problems with this throw is that it can commonly be countered with a roll throw because there's a little bit of a dilemma. If you want to hit this throw or to finish it in this case, oftentimes you have to drive in and this gives the other person the momentum to roll you through. And what can also happen is as you drive in, your hips tend to end up stacked on top of the bottom person's hips, which can be an unstable position here. So right now, Aliyev's hips are stacked on top. All Adeguro does, he has to use that momentum 
and roll them through. We saw this in, if you guys watched the Dake Derringer video I, I put out recently, um, similar sequence. So he rolls through, and again, it's a battle for base. Who can get their hips down first? And Ada Girl is going to have the advantage because as Aliyev falls to his right hip here, Ada Girl is already moving his feet and driving in the right direction, and he's going to be able to square his hips to the mat and step over right here. And so I believe it ends up being scored four to two, four for Aliyev for that throw, and then two for Ada Girl for the takedown. So just one more time on that. Snap, underhook. Gonna bring the right arm over, lock his hands, bring out a girl to the knees, and then it's gonna be that upper body rotation that gets the hips over. Unfortunately for Aliyev, he's gonna land in a relatively unstable position, and out girl is gonna use the momentum against him to end up on top. That's gonna be it for this video. If you'd like to support DPS Breakdowns, you can do so through Patreon or PayPal at the links below. Thanks for watching.